Emilia Lifaka, uh, Member of Parliament of the National Assembly of Cameroon and Deputy Speaker in this Parliament.
the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, your families, and your work, and remain with you forever. Eternal rest grant unto her, O oh Lord. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Chairperson CWA Atilka, who is also standing for the CPA International in the person of Alexander Gimba. My distinguished colleagues and other members of the National Assembly of Cameroon. Senior members of the national and international communities, senior members of political party members here, religious leaders, members of the family of the deceased, distinguished gentlemen, members of the press. We are here today not to mourn but to celebrate the death of the illustrious daughter of Africa. In the short but memorable interaction I had with Right Honorable Emila Pila Ifaka, she made a lasting impression on me as dedicated, committed, fearless, and parliamentarian who held firm to her victims, to her conviction. She was a mentor to all, almost all, new members of the CPA in general and the CWP in particular. Her, pass, her, her passion in the work of the CPA so up, is so up by the position of chairperson International Executive Committee and worked tirelessly to be quick and associate that fulfill the aspiration of its various diversities. We will surely miss her guidance. In her nearly 20 years as parliamentarian, 
Honorable Lufaka demonstrated a commitment to the cause of women, youth, and underprivileged. We are today celebrating a life of service. We can't explain how much we really miss her. We wish her a farewell in her journey to the eternity. May her soul, may her beautiful soul, rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you very much. She was a man of few words, but actually created. She had a passion for serving the public. Likewise, she had to take this part because it wasn't easy. If that were true, Honorable Rebecca Mungwa Emilia would have wanted nothing to do with politics.
during the seven legislature, that is 2002-2007. Honorable Emilia distinguished herself throughout the said mandate with her remarkable and positively appreciated services. Re-elected parliamentarian eighth legislature at 2007 2018, and due to her dynamism, discipline, and high sense of responsibility, she was elected by the nominated by the Herald and elected by our party to the post of the Vice President of the CPDM Parliamentary Group of the National Assembly. A post she held with much satisfaction from the hierarchy of the party. It is without doubt that during her third and fourth consecutive mandates of the National Assembly, she was elected and re-elected to the prestigious position of the Vice President of the August House, a post she occupied till her demise. Madam President and dear colleague, we say thank you for all your good and loyal services rendered at the National Assembly. Your party as well as your very distinguished political constituents. Comrade and colleague of the CPDM Parliamentary Union, we will never forget you. You will forever be in our minds. Et que la terre de tes ancêtres soit léger. Toi, si tu sois léger. Go in peace. Rest in the bosom of the Lord. Good night. Farewell. Adieu.
Today, I stand here to express our deep sadness on behalf of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, Executive Committee, and the entire family of the CPA on the demise of our chairperson, Her Excellency, Honorable Emilia Monjoa Lifaka, the Deputy Speaker of the Cameroon National Assembly. Her Excellency, late Honorable Emilia Monjoa Lifaka, as a CPA chairperson and a Commonwealth parliamentarian, was a woman of many qualities. She was a bridge builder, a consummate advocate of women issues. She was the driving force as the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarian CWP and the Small Branches Network. She served the association with such great diligence, dedication, and dignity. Her Excellency's commitment and passion got her elected as the chairperson of the CPA Executive Committee on the November 2017 at the 63rd Commonwealth Parliamentary Conf Conference in Dakar, Bangladesh. Having previously served in the following various capacities as the CPA Vice Chairperson between 2016 to 2017, the CPA African Regional Representative from 2015 to 2017, the conference coordinator of the 68th Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference held in Cameroon in 2014 and in 2017, she became the coordinator of the CPA International Activities of the National Assembly of Cameroon. She will greatly be missed by the CPA and CWP families. Every soul must test that, and there is an appointed time for it. However, as we mourn our beloved fellow parliamentarian, our colleague and our sister, we should not forget her commitments 
and continue with her legacy. Please allow me to convey our deepest sympathies and condolences to her family. Her constituency, the constituency she represented in the National Assembly, the people of Paco West constituency in the Southwest region, the National Assembly. Please take heart. I do, Your Excellency.